Ayo, boss, and welcome back. We are crushing through winter right now, but it is chilly out. So Chef decided to heat things up. He's going to show us how to make a pizza casserole. A little bit different and unique. Not your classic and average casseroles you might have seen or tried. But we wanted to try something new. And for the first casserole on our platform, we're kind of excited about this. A couple key ingredients and some bake time. And we think you're going to enjoy. Let's get cooking. So the first thing you're going to do is get your oven prepped to 350 degrees and then just cook some ground beef and about a medium sized chopped onion and then place that aside. Take out a large bowl, add some sugar, a little bit of garlic powder and some dried oregano. Then go ahead and add some tomato sauce, your pizza sauce, and some tomato paste. Don't forget, all the ingredients will be listed down below. Give that a quick stir. It looks like uh, Chef's wife's actually making this. Oh, she is. Chef must be on break. Go ahead and add some cooked pasta. Chef's using rotini. And continue to stir that in. You can use gluten-free pasta as well. Now go ahead and add that cooked beef and chopped onion in there into the mix and keep mixing. Next up, go ahead and take out a cast iron skillet or an oven saved pan if you don't have cast iron. Place about half of the mixings right in and spread it around nice and evenly. Then go ahead and top this with some shredded mozzarella cheese. After that, add the second half of that mix that chef's wife mixed up apparently. I don't know where Chef is. Go ahead and spread this around, and you're going to again top it with mozzarella cheese. So it's going to be two layers. And now they're going to throw in some pepperoni. And, you know, they said whatever else to toppings you want, this is your pizza. Or you can leave it just plain cheese. Have fun, be creative. Next up, go ahead and place this in the oven. Make sure it's an oven safe pan. 25 to 30 minutes, and there it is. Wow. Chef, you may uh, have some competition here. We may have to have Chef's wife cook more frequently. This came out delicious, actually. And if you want to see a picture of it on the plate, that was actually in the beginning of our video, so be sure to check that out. Thanks again for stopping by. Subscribe if you're new. We'd love to have you. And share this video if you did like it with some friends and family. We'd really appreciate that. We're trying to get the word out big time this year. Don't forget, everyone, have fun cooking, because cooking should be fun.